and welcome to day 229 of this bed growth. Bye. Nah, just kidding. Um, so it's Tuesday, so it's Teaching Tuesday, and uh, ooh, ooh, sexy leg time. Ooh, ooh relaxing. All right, it's Teaching Tuesday. So I've been doing some research and internet discoveries and all that things, and I have found something cool called the glass frog. Now, if you don't know what the glass frog is, it's a frog, okay, called the glass frog, and it has translucent skin, so it's normally a lime green color, but on its stomach, it's uh, translucent, so you, meaning you can see through it, so you can see like its internal organs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So uh, let's check out some pictures of the glass frog. See, there's this picture here where you can see its guts and stuff, and its intestinal tract and bowel and all that kind of stuff. And here's pretty much the same picture, but just of a different kind of frog. And I'm pretty sure that's the heart that you can see there. And here's a different picture, same deal, just the translucent frog, but this one's more glassy than anything. And uh, and then we got this one here with the froggy hanging off a little branch thingy, doing some one-handed uh, chin-ups. So there we go. So how cool is that? The glass frog. And where is the glass frog found? Most people don't know. Distribution, that would be a good thing. Uh, da, da, da. Mexico to Panama, that's where they're, and through the Andes from Venezuela and the island of um, Tobago to Bolivia, and now uh, there's some species in the Amazon and the uh, Orinco River basins, the uh, Diana Shield region, uh, southeastern Brazil, and northern Argentina. So that's where they're found. Um, I just did not read that off Wikipedia, but yeah. So there you go, the tree frog, the glass frog. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I hope you liked it, and uh, if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow for what's happening Wednesday. I got a cool trick for you: drink some water, stay hydrated. Cool tip: if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So the tip is, is drink during the day so you don't become thirsty because then that means you're not dehydrated. But when your body says you're thirsty, then it means you're dehydrated. So you should avoid drinking water. So there's two things for Teaching Tuesdays. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.